base is all done, I do have on clothes, so please note that. Rock and jail, huh? All right, let's get it. You already know, starting off with watching the nanny get me going. But I'm going to insert a picture of this base drawing. Um, a screenshot that I got from the video that I got the inspiration for this look for because some shots I'm out of the frame but right now I'm just creating these little flattened circles on my face I'm literally following the exact outline of what I'm about to show you on the screen so yeah continue with these little half circles I just used a black pencil it's probably an eyebrow pencil or eyeliner pencil whatever the case may be I'm doing that same pattern, following that same pattern on my chin. Um The chin I feel like is the most important because it's going to trace, it's going to trickle down into your neck. Now these neck cylinders, uh, child, I feel like I did these over like 5,000 gajillion times and you will see in this video how many times I done wiped it off and did it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> so just enjoy this little part. I tried doing the cylinders from the bottom to the top. I tried making them bigger. I tried making them smaller. Like it was, it was a lot. Like it was really a lot. And I believe this is the clip where I finally got the cylinders where I wanted them to be. So I just went ahead and drew a line down the center of the side of that bottom cylinder and just created a large flat circle on my chest. Now I'm going to be filling in all the negative areas with black. This is so that way when you put the cape on, it creates that slice illusion. So all the negative areas are about to get filled with black as you see here. And I'm just going to speed through this part. Yes, I even painted my ears black. Still regretting that to this day. And I wish I was both handed because having to do the other side of my chest and paint it was kind of hard. All right, now that that's done, I'm just I went back in with a black with the same black paint to darken the outline that I made with that pencil. Um, so I'm doing that here. I also realized that. I had to create another tiny circle on top of that cylinder, which was the hardest part. I'm telling you, the hardest part of this look. Creating those tinier circles above those neck cylinders. Mm -mm, that was hard. But as you can see here, I'm trying to persevere. I'm going as slow as humanly possible because you still want to get like that bottom half of the first cylinder still there. So you can create that line of demarcation between like skin, if that makes sense. I don't know, but just watch, just watch. And similar to what you see at the top in all the other cylinders, I did darken the corners of each cylinder so that way when I go in with the red paint, it has like that little bit of depth to it. 
Um, so right here, I'm going in with that red in my palette and putting it in all the cylinders. This is supposed to act as the blood. Looking back, I really wish that I did the middle cylinder a little bit thinner um, because I really wanted that sliced look, but I still think it came out nice in the end. And then last but not least, filling in that flattened circle on my chest with red. This doesn't have to be super perfect. I don't know why I made it like super perfect because you're going to go in and shade in the section where the red meets the black. So this really does not have to be perfect. And you'll see later on once I do the shading. But yeah. All right, so here goes the shading. I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and just shading the top portions of the circle just to make it less like less perfect, add more depth, add more character, you know, shading the outline so that way it doesn't look super harsh. Um, and I'm doing that with all the red sections and even in this bit back even in this big red section you can see me shading you really want to shade that bottom cylinder a lot because it's supposed to look like an object as if it was sitting on you so you do need to add a lot more shading in that section but like i said remember when i said this little line did not have to be perfect this is exactly why because you're literally about to just shade some black into that red so it doesn't need to be perfect but it does add a little bit of character now this part I didn't really understand from the tutorial that I was watching why I had to add like these little white shadows. I don't I did not like them, but for the sake of the tutorials for the sake of the video, I still added it. So I just added some white paint and I just brushed it out to add a little bit of um shadow. I just think maybe white isn't good on dark skin, so maybe I needed a different color. I don't know. But yeah, this part was not my fave. I also did add like some white highlights to the red too um, because blood is not all one color and you do want to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I did add some white highlight around the corners of the flattened circles. And in a couple seconds, you'll see all the highlights that I added. I even added some to the bottom cylinders. And you want to add more white to the bottom ones because those are the bottom cylinders need to pop more. So you need to add more white to those. I also did add some drips of blood to my chest, but I do not think I got that on camera. I'm so sorry, but... Ooh. I'm done. Wow. Different. Let me see. Let me turn flat. Oh, that does not help. <laughs> but, ooh, okay, okay, okay. 